Hey guys, Dakota K26A here, also known as Republic Customs, doing yet another custom clone review on one of my newest figures. It is the 501st variation of the uh, standard Airborne Trooper. So it came out incredibly well. I finished this one last night and uh, had it everything had everything set up today. Pictures of it are on Flickr. Gonna post this specific one on eBay probably later today. Well, maybe around midnight my time, which is uh, the Nashville, Tennessee time. So it's 5.07 right now. So around maybe midnight I'll get this thing up on eBay. So sorry for being so late, but I've got a lot on my plate right now with the home with some uh, homework for the summer assignment that I've got to finish. And uh, for other customs I've got to do, including e other eBay orders. So anyways, this custom is the exact very is the uh, the one I did before this one on the airborne division was the red version which is the shock trooper version a quick show real fast this one this is the exact same thing as the blue one exactly the same design exactly the same sort of situation and application it just this is the 501st variation and sorry for this week and that was my chair so this the review will be similar to the shock trooper version now obviously the weapon we'll start with that is the same kind of weapon, uh, LAS, Little Arm Shop, uh, DC-15A Blaster Rifle, very nice. I like that weapon. Um, so basically the review, again, pretty simple. Helmet, very nice. This got the uh, the newer version, the Style 2 here has this sort of a mouth design. I may, I may ask for my Style 1 designs from my good friend Dutch to actually be the exact same sort of thing, maybe a different color, different variation, his version of that, but I'm liking the structure because it, it, it works really well. So, it's got the wraparound back decal on the back of the helmet, it's got the small little side decals, the black ones up here on the side for the fins there, it's got the, the small little blue lines on the, uh, uh, the identification of its 501st origin, the little side fins here, not fins, but their side decals there. The stripes on the, the front of the head, which are blue, which also represent the 501st Legion insignia, or not insignia, but color. And the arms are very very basic. One side has two sets of stripes on it. And ever, other than that, it's white completely. The other side has solid blue, and then the two stripes down here. Now, this is the Style 2 variation of this figure, so the arms are not wraparound. They are one piece arms which are again nice but I'm looking forward to seeing the style one of these versions I'm looking forward to uh, applying that and seeing that but um, also a quick note in case you are watching this uh, Dutch in case you're actually watching this I am waiting for updates on your decals to make to make more figures in your style and I'm also uh, out of supplies at the moment to make decal to make custom figures. I used the last of the ones I had to make the decals that were already prepared for me, which were style two in this case. So torso, it's got a strap here, strap here with the three grenades on it. It's the patch here, and also on the back of the the back of the torso goes down the strap there. As this is a style two figure, it has a belt decal, which is a nice addition. And it has very, very basic legs, which are the Lego style versions of the legs with Sun Style 2. It has these little black stripes on each side. Now, one of the legs has the two small stripes on the bottom, which is the right leg on the kneecap, and the other one has them on the upper thigh, which is the left leg. The upper, the other left leg also has a solid blue leg patch, including the small little lines inside of the leg, which are also black. I mean, which are also blue. So. And that pretty much wraps up this custom figure. If you guys are interested in, in getting one yourself, since this will most likely not be up on my website, it will be on my eBay very shortly. It will also be uh, available on Flickr if you are interested in contacting me there, which will, a link will be posted inside of this video. And you can also contact me at dkcoley, D-K-C-O-L-L-E-Y at gmail.com or republiccustoms at gmail.com. I will take any kind of requests. And also there's a, um, a person named Republic Customs here on YouTube. I'm terribly sorry, dude, but I've, you know, already gotten my, my logo made, my website, domain name, almost, I'm about to buy that. I'm about to get my everything else set up. That's the all my, all my insignias that I've got working on for my for my uh, bags and my labels and everything are all Republic Custom based. The uh, my my uh, eBay store is also store name is Republic Customs and I've had that name for a long time. So I'm sorry, man, but it's just that's just how it's, how it's going on. So um, this has been Dakota K268.
uh, rate, comment, subscribe. You don't really have to subscribe. It's just something everyone keeps saying. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.